We had about a four-hour cold MGF segment. Dude, this one here was the weirdest fucking thing. This may have been weirder than when Chris Jericho and MGF were feuding, and then they did a musical number together. This was so bizarre. So they are going to be facing Aussie Open. Mm-hmm. MJF has a plan to train for these Aussies. And that is he is going to take Adam Cole to the Outback Steakhouse. Adam Cole is thrilled. I'll say. He cannot wait to go to the Outback Steakhouse. So they go to the Outback Steakhouse. They eat until they are stuffed. And as they're eating, MJF's looking around and there's there's a kangaroo and, uh, you know, blooming onion. And so MJF, after they're done, he shows... Cole, he goes, ah, I googled this kangaroo thing, and here's kangaroos fighting. Look at what they're doing. He says this. This is how we will beat Aussie Open, with a kangaroo kick. Adam Cole is like, dude, I got a better idea. So I'm thinking, what's the better idea? Well, the better idea is they go to some show, Dynamite, I guess, and they get blow-up crocodiles... They scatter them around the backstage area. They make sure to get a kiddie pool filled with water. And they use it as bait for some guy. Correct. Okay. So the guy shows up and he's like, what the fuck's with these fucking crocodiles in this kiddie pool? And MJF and Adam Cole are hiding behind bleachers or something. And they go, now's the chance. You know what to do. And they clasp hands. And they give this man a double clothesline. Yeah. Then we hear someone screaming. Call! MJF! What the fuck's going on? Get in here! It is the voice of Tony Khan. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we see is Tony Khan's office. And we know this because there's a sign on the door that says, Tony Khan! And we hear him screaming at these guys. God damn it! Stop doing this shit in the back! There will be no double clotheslines in the back! There's people around! Only double clotheslines in the ring! They cut to the door, and the door opens. And MJF and Adam Cole come out. And MJF says, This fucker. Man... This guy's going to regret this come 2024. And all of a sudden, the door opens. And making an appearance in an angle. Yes. Which I don't think Tony Khan has ever done. Like, he's made appearances for, you know, hey, we're it's so happy to be here. Here's Martha Hart. Or, you know, we've got a great show coming up or whatever. This is the first time he's ever, to my knowledge, shown up to be in an angle. And he opens the door. And he puffs up his chest. And he says... What'd you say, Max? What'd you say? And Max, who the story, by the way, is he does whatever he wants. Tony Khan's paid him a lot of money. You know, he doesn't have to listen to this guy. He's uh, he's, he's taking it back. And he says, Hey, man, you look great. And the moment he says that, Tony suddenly smiles. And he fucking reverts to... Press conference Tony Khan. He says, hey, man, that's awesome. Hey, I'm excited. Things are going great. Good work, you guys. And he puts his sunglasses on. He walks in. I was absolutely positive that someone slipped me acid (laughs) or like something, dude. I was like, this had to be. Somebody on the board goes, this show was like a fever dream. Fuck, dude, there's no better explanation. I thought that I took, like, a bunch of NyQuil, woke up in a sweat in this fucking 95-degree sweltering heat, and had this fucking fever dream of this segment right here. This was the craziest fucking thing I ever saw. And, like, what? So. What am I missing? You're not missing anything. Well, you're not missing anything, but uh, uh, a few minutes ago, I Am I on drugs, I wrote? A few minutes ago, I mentioned the dialogue in the Don Callis-Chris Jericho segment was perfect. 
I guess the dialogue that you can say in the dialogue here is perfect if you were trying to, to, to relive Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas and think this is all a bad trip because as MJF and Adam Cole are suddenly wacky pranksters and they have set up the backstage area with pool toys and uh, actual pools and all this and some guy is walking through, this some guy looks around and asks these exact questions, which I am not making up. There are pool toys in my hallway? Why me? <laughs> like, this is the most unfair thing the universe has ever done to someone, is to put pool toys in what is apparently his hallway, whoever this guy is. Then, when Khan is giving the tongue lashing to his main eventers here on this show, making them the complete geeks, and you hear him scream at them, quote, you keep the double clotheslines in the ring, MJF and Adam Cole. <laughs> Calling them both by their full name. It's a very, very strange program. And there is a lot more. This was like the most inside, wacky, like... God. That is, my, that is. I think this is Tony Khan to... having to lay down the law on his performers and being bad at it, and then and then literally morphing into the Tony Khan at a press conference who <laughs> never says anything. Yes, and is nothing but positive. This is like it, it felt like they were trying to make a joke about themselves. Oh, they just, were definitely, and it was undoubtedly uh, it's not the best joke I ever saw, and maybe not the best thing to be joking about. But uh, yeah. So MJF and Cole then arrive to the building in a sports car. I think it was a Ferrari, but whatever. MJF is sick. Cole goes to the ring alone. It's not like they went to Applebee's. Apparently not. Well, <laughs> there is a fine line between Applebee's and uh, Outback. These are not the best eating establishments. Roderick Strong still wants to talk to Adam. Adam won't talk to him. So Roddy kicks the tires. He hurts his foot, and the kingdom is there to console him. Now we go to the ring where MJF and Adam Cole are doing a promo. Max wants to do a kangaroo kick like the kangaroos did in the video. Uh, Cole wants to do a double clothesline. Then it is time, suddenly, after all this weirdness, and really after like a month straight of silliness, it is time for the hard sell for the main event of the pay-per-view, even though this is not the go-home show. And suddenly Adam Cole is dead serious. This will be the most important match of my entire life. Nine months ago, I didn't know if I'd ever wrestle again. Now I'm in the main event of the biggest show of all time with one of my best friends. But I need to win to submit my legacy here in AEW, and I will do anything and everything it takes to win that belt. And MGF says, my first day of training at Creative Pro Wrestling, we were told to write down dream opponents, and I wrote down two names, Cody Rhodes and Adam Cole. I put 90,000 miles on my truck in one year. I heard about a show called All In, the very first All In. I begged Cody Rhodes for a chance to perform. I promised I would not disappoint. And I lost that match, but I got the attention of a lot of people, including Tony Khan. Without All In, there is no MJF, and that's a fact. Then I worked my way up to the main event level. Here I am, the biggest show of all time. I get to face my dream opponent and my best friend, and it means so much to me, but it doesn't mean everything. Only the Triple B means everything to me. Everything I've worked for this represents. I need a win to keep it, and I'm going to win, because nobody is in the level of the devil. And they are trading catchphrases, and they bang fists in manly respect. But then Aussie Open attacks. What? You're telling me there was another attack? And gets their asses kicked. <laughs> Just destroyed, they are able to avoid both the double clothesline and the kangaroo kick, and they flee for their lives. Adam Cole, much like Bret Hart, or much like Shawn Michaels in the infamous segment with Bret Hart, is prepped for a super kick. Boy Max turns around, he relaxes and lets it go. And they hug, but as they hug, Adam is staring longingly at that championship belt on the mat. And we cut backstage where Roderick Strong is now in a wheelchair with a bag of ice on his foot, watching along with the kingdom, and they're all shaking their head, very disappointed at all this. Whew. Yeah, that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff they did right there. But you know what? I thought, uh, I thought Cole's promo was awesome. I thought MGF's promo was awesome. 
I thought that uh, they both did a great job explaining why they want to win. And you definitely, certainly got the impression that Adam Cole is going to be the guy that turns on MJF. So I don't know if that means we're heading for a swerve here or if they're going to pay it off with what everyone is expecting or what. But, uh, you know, this team, it's like, I don't know when they're going to break up, but it seems like it's it's inevitable because yeah. every single week they have been doing an issue between these two guys. So uh, will it be in the pre-show? Will it be in the main event? Will it be in the uh, one TV show between that show and, and All Out? I guess we'll find out. All right, Granny, let's get moving here. Or not. Uh, not all at once. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Am I supposed to do my... Yeah. I can't find it. Just a minute. Oh, shoot. What's going over there, Granny? <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it. Okay. Did we catch you off guard with our Tuesday night show? Why don't you read another question while we're waiting? Well, I closed the Facebook. Let's see if I can uh, dig it back up here. I'm ready. Sean, okay, I can't believe mind. the faith you have in Vinny to this day. <laughs> all right. Well, never it's, mind. It's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Go ahead, Granny. <laughs> it's been how many uh, years? <laughs> what is happening on this show? <laughs> granny, I want to know. It's I your turn, to... Granny. We're waiting for you. Then don't interrupt. Who interrupted? <laughs> that was I just... eight seconds of dead air. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.